Hello, Leo. Welcome to your Quick Six Infinite Weekly Reading. I'm your girl, Lola, and welcome to Olalo Taino Tarot. We're going to get right into the read. We're going to ask Holy Spirit to join us. Holy Spirit, please join us for this reading for Leo. Make this reading clear and concise. Allow this reading to resonate for people that it needs to resonate for. And for those that don't, allow them to still take a, get a takeaway from this reading that they could utilize for themselves, even if it's just a mantra or an angel card number. Please allow this reading to be easily digestible and for it to help Leo glean clarity and discernment. Ashe. Okay, we're coming right into the read. The world is in the past. In the present is the Knight of Wands and in the future, Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands, the Sun. You got a lot of knights on the board, Knight of Wands. Okay, we got we got two tens on the board too. So there's double completion for you, Leo. We're just starting out with that, just with the numerology, okay? In the past, the world shows up in the past. I'm sorry, yeah, the world shows up in the past. In the past, the world shows up in the past. This is completion. This is uh, the culmination of everything happening and it completed. You went through the portal. You've integrated completely and totally. Anything that you were trying to integrate in the past has been integrated. That is what is happening in the past. That is what is happening in the past. Complete completion on your journey and what you've been trying to create. Knight of Wands shows up in the present moment. So Knight of Wands shows up. I hope you can see that in the present moment. She's playing her own drum. Okay. She has, I love this. She has four wands behind her. So every time I see this card, sometimes I think it's the four of wands, but this is the Knight of Wands. She's in the dark. The horses are dancing in the background. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands represents courage and confidence. She has courage and confidence to play her own song. You must, in the present, you, you must have the courage and confidence to play your own song. In the future, Ten of Swords, you're going to be walking away from something that's no longer serving you and walking towards a new beginning. So you're walking away and walking towards something new. In this card, which I don't know if you can see, there's, the sun is coming up and she's walking towards that new beginning. So you're walking away from something that's no longer serving you into something new because you have the courage to play your own song. And because you did the completion, you've walked through that beautiful portal and you've, thick, you've completed yourself. It's like you came into a wholeness of self in the past. Ten of Swords tells me that it's time for you to, whatever it is that you're creating, it's time to take it to market. I know you feel burdened by what you're creating, okay? I know that you feel burdened by what has been, but it's time for you to move forward, okay? And release that burden and take to market what it is that you're creating. Because if you do so, the sun shows up, you'll be illuminated completely and fully in the heart. You'll be illuminated. So it's time for you to be unburdened by what has been, move forward and be illuminated. And seize the day, Carpe Diem, Knight of Swords shows up. He is acting with certainty. So move forward with certainty, Leo. And I'm telling you, this will set you free because you've already went through the portal, the world card, and you've already been illuminated, the sun. So it's time for you to really act with certainty, Knight of Swords. Let's get some clarification on the Ten of Swords. And that is the Four of Swords. Time for you to rest, okay? You have walked in the future. You've walked away from something into something new, and then you get to rest after that. So that's a wonderful card to come out to give you some clarity of the situation. Ten of Wands, what have you released? Let's find out. Seven of Pentacles, this is about you sowing the seeds. You have to take to market so you can sow the seeds of, of uh, all the abundance that you have. Let's get you an angel card number real quick. One, 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 three. Oh, three, I love that. One, one, one. Angels are ready to fully support you in the endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. I am creative. I am creative is your mantra. And then we'll get you a soul card number. Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Let Make sure that you're really walking away from and into something really new. Make sure you're resting, making sure that you are actually taking to market what it is you're creating, releasing the, the sorrow and the burdens and sowing the seeds that you've planted. What a great reading, Leo. This is a really good reading. This, is, this reading happens really quickly too. So I'm very interested. It's very interesting that it went so quick. 
Thank you so much, Leo. Please make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising for a full picture of what's going on for you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to share me with a friend because I'm shareable. And make sure to come back next week for your reading. I love you. You are whole, perfect, and complete, and a radiant point of light. I'm blessed by your presence. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon. Bye, Leo.